Our parents died when I was six, and Zev was 12. All my life he took care of me because they were too busy to, and they had adopted me when I was five. Not because they needed another child or even wanted to, but out of pity. My parents are dead, murdered by the trusted allies that were supposed to keep them safe. But before they were able to kill all of us, my grandfather sent me away, with a letter tucked in my little backpack. Even though I was little and didn't understand what was going on, I knew it would be the last time I saw the family that I called my own. He picked me up and we disappeared into the night, and after days of traveling, we stopped at Sarah and Cyrus's home. They were humans I met before, and they were close to my family. He asked them to look after me because he had to go back and fight. Before he left, he bent down and whispered, Little one, many things have happened this night, and you must hide your gifts. For when this night is over, I shall be gone, and hunters will come after you. He sighed deeply, but you'll like it here. They have a son you can play with. He's going to be your big brother and look after you. When Sarah and Cyrus can't, I love you, Raven. He gave me a hug and a kiss on the forehead, and true to his word, I never saw my grandfather again after that night. Despite how my brother Zev aggravates me, I love him to death, and I know that anywhere I go, he'll be there fighting by my side, no matter the trouble that I managed to get us in. I finally finished getting Zev's cell open and poke my head inside and hear a low, jagged breathing. I see his body hunched against the wall, unconscious before I see my brother's. The male had silver hair and was maybe 6'8", like he was huge, and was sitting with his hands covered in blood pressed against a large gash across his stomach. His face looked displeased as he slept, as though he found his wounds an annoyance. He was also badly bruised and had smaller cuts on his chest and arms that were bare. There may be more wounds, but from my position I can't see them. I slip inside and Zeb sits up and looks in my direction and says, Hey sis, took you long enough. And by the way, that was almost three minutes. Mm, three? Not two, three. I raise my eyebrows and look at him in disbelief and ask, Really? You're timing me now? Well, you are lucky to have such an awesome sister to bail you out of your gorgeous cell. I mean, look at the view and fantastic scent. Ah, the smell of dead rat. A true luxury, is it not? The male in the corner let out a small laugh and shifted to face me and said with a weird expression on his face, You're a strange one, but not in a negative way. My brother burst out laughing and he had tears rolling down his face. Yes, very funny. No, please, laugh. See how I feel about letting you out in a little while. I muttered, rolling my eyes at him. The man fully turned so he was facing me and my brother and said, The name's L, and you are? My brother responded and said, This is my sister, Raven. And a look of confusion crossed his face, and he asked, An elf and a human. Who would have thought? Why aren't you with your clan? They were slaughtered, if you must know. And Zev is my family now, perhaps not by birth, but he's my brother nonetheless. I told El, looking directly in his eyes, I noticed, suddenly I noticed a change in his expression. In his eyes glowed a bright silver. What are you? I thought briefly, before he did something unexpected. He sniffed the air and snarled. He got up so fast he surprised me, considering the rather large wounds on his stomach, which was not yet healed. He was crouched down because of his height. He also had large black wings, and he yanked me behind him. Startled, I was about to tell him off when he put a hand over my mouth and hushed me. He actually hushed me. Keep calm, the vamps are near. And stay behind me. Be ashamed for you to die, eh? Yeah, no need to worry about me, Zev said in a grumpy mutter. El looked at my brother with a slightly pained grin and told him, If it makes you feel better, you can hide behind me as well. But Raven, you need to stay behind both of us because if they found you in here, nothing will get you out of out of here alive, alright? I growled fine and muttered under my breath, Stupid man, I could set his butt on fire. I heard that, and I'll say, Say, that's a bit rude, don't you think? I wiggled free and pushed, pulled Zeb closer to me while El was focused on the vamps in the hallways. I planned on getting a couple words in with Zeb and started mentally thinking of a possible escape route. Zeb, I whispered to him. Yes, Raven, he whispered back. I shifted closer to him so our shoulders were touching and asked, Any ideas on how to get out of this dungeon? He looked at me if I had four heads and gave me an incredi incredulous look that said, How should I know how to get out of here? I sighed and muttered, That's what I thought. Great, so it's up to me then? Question?